Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, are you guys ready to answer questions regarding these policies that you just talked about in general and, and Citigroup and Bank of America's stance? No, well, from Bank of America's standpoint, we can take your questions and give them to our public policy group and get back to you with, with answers. So we, me, bank, me representing Bank of America, Merrill Lynch, I am not able to, to address questions directly, but can take your questions and uh, have our, our policy group uh, answer them. I'm, I'm sort of confused, Mr. Chairman. I, usually we have members here that can answer questions. Um, I, I can ask questions, but will I get a response? Well, you just got their response. I think yeah. you can make a statement and tell them what information okay. you'd like to have brought back to the uh, I have mission. several questions, several concerns. Um, uh, the, first, the first question I have is in when did Citigroup and Bank of America decide to get into the policymaking business versus the banking business? Um, any reflection on that at all? No, sir. Again, again I would address that to our, policy, our public policy group, and uh, we'll, we will address that. Okay. Um, are you guys aware that in 2012, as the Treasurer said, um, this legislature's legislative body passed the instrument, a constitutional amendment that we put on the ballot that talked about strict scrutiny in Louisiana as being the highest standard when we're addressing our gun policy and our gun laws? Are you aware of, those, of that statement that the Treasurer made earlier? No, sir. Okay, when that did make it to the ballot, this body passed it out, and it was passed overwhelmingly by the citizens of Louisiana. I think somewhere is over 70% of the citizens of Louisiana believe in the right to bear arms, the right to defend themselves and their families. We're, are you aware of that? Is your bank aware of that? We'll, we'll address it, sir. Okay. That you, you talked about policies earlier about um, restricting those who sell firearms to individuals that are between the age of 18 and 20 years old. Um, so I want to know if Citigroup and Bank of America support sending our, um, these young adults to war to defend their countries with semi-automatic rifles, yet they can't come home and defend their families with these same rifles. Any comments on that today? Again, public policy group will address that question. We I certainly appreciate your concern, and we will take that. Very, back. very concerned, because the, but your policies infringe on the citizens of Louisiana's ability to defend themselves and their families and their right to the Second Amendment. And I believe Senator Kennedy, that's one of the specific things in his letter that we're preparing a response to. Um, high capacity magazines, are you aware of how many citizens in Louisiana own those, those magazines as well as AR-15 rifles and semi-automatic rifles? No, sir. Yeah. Are you First, aware that eight, mi not. 8 million people across, um, 8 million AR-15 owners across the United States? And the reason I bring up the AR-15 is because the high capacity magazines also go along with these rifles commonly used firearms by the citizens of the state of Louisiana and the citizens of the United States of America. You guys have to know something about this. How much money did you guys take in the bailout in 2008? That's got to be a simple one. Y'all can answer that one right off the top. Easy. Well, we did, we did receive dollars from uh, the federal government um, during that time. The, the number is, uh, I believe, is over. Uh, I, it's billions of dollars and uh, billions yes sir i n understand that and um do you realize where those dollars came from they're u.s taxpayer dollars yes sir. you we agree with that. that we understand that do you agree that louisiana is one of the 50 states in the united states that pays and their residents pay tax dollars yes, yes sir yes, do you sir. agree that some of the louisiana residents taxpayer dollars did go towards funding your bailout in 2008 mm -hmm. yes sir so i ask you in return for all the generous courtesies that the, the, United, the citizens of the United States and the citizens of Louisiana have given Bank of America and Citigroup, why do you look down on the citizens of Louisiana? Why insult them by infringing on their Second Amendment rights? Again, sir, those questions, we understand your concerns, and um, our public policy group will address uh, your question directly. Where's your public policy group located? Uh, Paul Strands is out of uh, our Dallas office who represents this region. And uh, he will he will contact you and ask those questions. Directly. It may be a good idea to have them come back in front of this bond commission and speak to us in, directly in person. Yes, sir. Um, I read the national article, which sort of um, talked a little bit about the statements that you made earlier that you're you're transitioning away gun related businesses, um, and and fi having them find other banking institutes. Is that true, per your statements earlier? Citigroup and Bank yes. of America does not does not want to do business with with 
in, with biz, small business owners in Louisiana or business owners that meet the credentials that deal in firearms? I cannot comment on that, that question, sir. We can have our public policy group answer it directly. Until I hear a response from your policy group or more answers, it sounds like Citigroup and Bank of America doesn't support the Second Amendment, doesn't sub appre fully appreciate the Second Amendment and the rights that the citizens of Louisiana and the United States have to defend themselves and their families. So if, if Citigroup and Bank of America has this stance, and I know you can't talk any more in, in any more detail today because you have to go refer to your policy group, I would recommend to this commission, this bond commission, that the state of Louisiana in return takes a look at the contracts that we have with Citigroup. How is Citigroup and Bank of America, can you tell me about any contracts or any relationship that Citigroup and Bank of America currently has with the state of Louisiana currently? Representative Miguez, I can, I can, we have that information. I'll have the staff pass that out. Um, I mean, currently right now, we, we have no activity within the last year, three years with Citigroup, no contracts. Um, we do have a lot of business going on with, with, with Bank of America. Um, there's probably about $424 million out right now in loans. Um, certainly we have our processing contracts so we we there is business and and uh i can have the staff send that to all the members i just think we should, should have, repay the common courtesy and start transitioning business away from citibank and bank of america because if you can't do business with the with the law-abiding citizens and the business owners in the state of louisiana why should the state of louisiana do business with you taxpayer dollars fund everything in this building you've we, taken taxpayer dollars we will, um, as I, as they know and have, have they've addressed, I sent a letter. They're aware of it. I sent it, I think, on Tuesday. I mean, this all sort of just has happened, and I, I fully expect a response. And um, and we will, whether we have to have a special meeting or for those that. Well, want I to think attend. we do need to have a special meeting, Mr. Chairman. I'm, I'm sitting here. It's like talking to a wall, and they're telling me we have a um, executive in a high-rise building in Dallas who's going to respond to me by a letter. They can't come in front of this body and face the people of Louisiana and their representatives and their senators directly. Well, I, have, I have a lot of concern with that. I think that, uh, that our response from our public policy group will not be told by letter only. Um, I will say that there are efforts uh, to meet with those who are concerned uh, individually to address, to address your, your issues. Are you willing to come back in front of this committee and 